Hey everyone, it's Stephanie from Scrap and Create, and we're working on page three. Page three. So we're gonna uh, start with a pocket. This is nine inches by four and a half, nine by four and a half. You're gonna score half an inch on three sides. We're gonna make a nice large pocket to go on the bottom of the page. Oh, I just got back from my walk and it warmed up outside a bit. So it was pretty foggy this morning to start. Okay, make sure you're um, putting it uh, the right orientation. Page is right side up. Yeah, I'm a little warm. I'm dripping on my on my mat here. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's sticking to me, and it makes it a little hard to get it straight. Okay, there we go. All right, so there's our pocket, and then we're going to have a nice big flap to go on top. This is six and a half by eight. Six and a half by eight. It's going to go across top. There we go. Six and a half by eight and then a four and a half by nine. We're gonna add a couple of magnets to hold everything in place. Whenever you're doing pockets it's, um, and you do a flap over your pocket, make sure that there's enough overlap, if you're gonna use a, a magnet to close it, that there's enough overlap that you can place your magnet and not have it be so close to the edge of the paper that you can't get glue on the other side to hold it down. If it's really close to the edge, your designer paper is going to want to uh, have a little gap here. So it's just something to think about. Uh, the other solution, if you don't want to use a magnet, is um, if you if your flap is a little bit shorter, um, like that. I'm sorry, I'm dripping on the everything. Like this, then you can use an insert. To hold your flap down. So I wanted a nice big flap uh, for because I know that it's a holiday, winter, there'll be lots of photos. So and larger size photos because typically there's a lot of people in the holiday ones versus you know on normal occasions where you may just have one or two people in the photo. You're gonna have lots of family in your photos and lots of friends. So okay. Uh, uh, draft a little bit. <laughs> okay, I'll be back in a few minutes and we will decorate this, okay? Okay, everyone, I got my papers lined up. Do I? Yes, I do. Okay, I'm going to use the ribbon that comes as part of the bundle and I'm going to place a little tab right here under the flap by the magnet. So it'll be basically centered here. So let me get my impulse ruler out and we will center the ribbon here on the flap hmm. which I'm doing that upside down I'm like why doesn't this make sense <laughs> there we go now it does okay so right there okay so let's go ahead and attach this firmly with um, tape and then we're going to put some glue over it. So I'm just trying to decide how much do I want it to hang off. Not a whole lot. Maybe about that. So I'm going to use some white tape and tape across here. Hold it in place. And it is a little bit thick so just be warned of that. There's another option which is cream. But if you built um, the cover like I did, um, the organza was used on the cover. So, okay. Now, does that look right? It looks right. For some reason, this page is a little bit off. I'm gonna use my papers straight. See if I can't straight. It could be the magnets tugging it. I'm gonna check my magnets real quick. Because <clears throat> it's not it's not flush on the sides. So it could be that I got my magnet um, out of alignment but we'll find out here in a second right
I don't. It's actually the it's actually the flap. I've, I've gotten it in a little bit crooked. So I'm gonna um, try to force it to straighten out. Well, I don't. I haven't. So what I'm going to do is I am going to, when I go to put it back over this way, I'm going to sort of force it to straighten out a little bit using the magnet to pull it a little bit. It, no one will notice. It's just I'm a, I'm a stickler for these things. And if, if you see, there's, it, see how it's off just ever so slightly. <laughs> Most people wouldn't bother, but it'll, it'll bother me. It, I, you know, I know it will. So I'm just tugging it slightly before I, there we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, these are the prints that I have for the um, inside. I'm having a real hard time cooling off today, I swear. Patterns and solids. And I forget where this is from. And this must be. I have to look. Here and this is from the collection. patterns is from the collection. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna put a seven by seven inside. Okay. 
Okay, so here's our seven by seven insert. And then also we are going to add, sorry, I've got to do some sorting over here. Some ephemera cards. So I'm just going to tuck these in here. I'm going to come back to this after I've done the rest of the pages and see what paper I have left. Okay, so that is page three. I'll be back soon.